Hello everyone and welcome to another product comparison video brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. Today I am comparing four outdoor security cameras. The Ring Floodlight versus the Ring Spotlight versus the Ring Stick Up Cam versus the Nest Outdoor Camera. I'm very interested to find out what the main difference is between the three Ring Smart Security Cameras. And I also wanted to compare them to one of the most highly rated cameras on Amazon, the Nest Outdoor. This video has 11 different sections and they are Section 1, Main Highlights, Section 2, Basic Specifications, Section 3, Reviews and Ratings, Section 4, Connections, Section 5, Power and Storage, Section 6, Video and Audio, Section 7, Sensors and Detectors, Section 8, remote access, section 9, home automation, section 10, box contents, and section 11, design and warranty. These sections are all listed below this video and to move quickly between them, click or tap on the different times. So let's get stuck in. The main highlights, the main features. This section shows the most popular features of smart security cameras and if each of the cameras in my comparison has any of them. It is for those of you who are in a rush and don't have time to watch the whole video. Firstly, night vision. Each of these cameras uses passive infrared, which detects the heat given off from human or animal bodies. Secondly is built-in lights. Two of the cameras have built-in lights, the floodlight and the spotlight. The Stick Up Cam and Nest Outdoor don't have any built in lights. The next feature is Field of Vision. The Floodlight and Spotlight cameras both have 140 degrees field of vision. The Nest camera is close behind with 130 degrees, and the Stick Up Cam is way behind on 80 degrees. Resolution. In optimum conditions, the Floodlight, Spotlight and Nest camera all record footage at 1080p, whereas the Stick Up Cam records a much lower resolution of 720p. Power. The Floodlight needs to be hardwired, which means that it needs to be connected to your household wiring system, preferably by a professional. The Spotlight comes in different variations that are battery powered, or solar powered or comes with a power adapter and the stick up cam will run off a built-in rechargeable battery or also by a power adapter and the nest is powered via a power adapter moving on to storage all of these cameras use cloud storage there are different plans available most of which require a monthly subscription voice commands all of these cameras are compatible with Amazon Alexa. Let's move on to the next section, which is all about the basic specifications. Three of these cameras are made by Ring, who are a very young company that just makes smart devices. Ring are most well known for their video doorbells. Nest is also a very young com company that just specializes in manufacturing smart products. Its most famous product is the Nest thermostat and a few years ago Nest was bought by Google. Two of these cameras were launched in 2016 and two were launched in 2017. The Spotlight was only launched a few months ago in August 2017 and a few months before that in May the Floodlight was launched. The Stick Up Cam is the oldest camera in this selection it was released in February 2016, whereas the Nest camera was launched in July 2016. The two heaviest cameras are the Floodlight and the Spotlight, and that isn't that surprising when you consider that they have lights built in. Much lighter is the Nest camera, which weighs in at a mere 11 ounces, and the Stick Up Cam is only 9 ounces. These cameras come in all shapes and sizes. The floodlight is biggest because of its floodlights on top. The stick up is the smallest and the thinnest. 
Prices change constantly, so just to double check anything before you buy. At the moment, the floodlight is the most expensive at $249. Then the stick up cam is about $230. The spotlight and the Nest camera are both just under $200. The spotlight is $195 and the Nest is $197. Section 3 is all about reviews and ratings. Firstly, we've got our fake spot. FakeSpot is a website that analyzes a product reviews on sites like Amazon and then gives them a reliability grading. This is because not all reviews that are on Amazon are written by people who have genuinely, genuinely bought a product. Many companies pay people to write fake reviews about products in order to get the product higher up in Amazon's listing so that their sales are greater. FakeSpot uses the same grade system used on old school reports. The higher the grade, the more trustworthy the reviews are. The Spotlight has the highest number of high quality reviews at 80% and it's given a B grade. Next is the Nest Outdoor with 60% of high quality reviews and it only has a D grade. But the two cameras that have been given an F grade for the quality of their reviews are the Floodlight and the Stick Up. The Floodlight only has 44% of high quality reviews, whilst the, Nest, whilst the Stick Up cam has 36% of high quality reviews. Moving on to overall rating, the Floodlight and the Nest have the highest rating, both with 4.3 out of 5, and that is a fairly high rating for a smart product. Next comes the stick up cam with 4 out of 5 and in a close last place is a spotlight on 3.9 out of 5. In terms of the written reviews there are two numbers in this category. The number in black shows the total number of written reviews. The number in pink shows the average reviews which are written every month since the product's been re released. This, I think, helps to make the comparison much fairer. And so if we po focus on the pink numbers, the floodlight comes top with 332 reviews per month. Next is the Nest Outdoor cam with 206. The Stick Up cam com comes a close third with 193 written reviews per month. And the Spotlight comes a distant fourth with only 23 written reviews per month. For answered questions, there are two numbers again in this category. The number in black shows the total number of answered questions, and the number in pink shows the average number of questions that have been answered every month since the product has been launched. And so if we focus on the pink numbers, the floodlight again is the winner in this category, and it has 72 answered questions per month. Next is the Nest camera with 47 answered questions per month. The stick up cam comes third with 26 and the spotlight comes fourth with 21 answered questions per month. The percentage of reviews which are rated as five stars is an important indicator of satisfaction. The higher this percentage, the more satisfied buyers are. For the top smart products, this percentage tends to be in the 70s or 80s. The floodlight comes top with 80%. The Nest cam comes second with 70%. 3% closely followed by the ring stick up cam with 71%. The spotlight comes in last with 66% of its ratings graded as 5 stars. On the flip side of this, the percentage of reviews which are rated as 1 star is an important indicator of dissatisfaction. The higher this percentage, the more disappointed buyers are. For the top smart products, this percentage tends to be about 5% or lower. In this category, the cameras come in the same order as before. Floodlight, Nest, Stick Up Cam and the Spotlight. The Floodlight has only 4% of its reviews rating it as 1 star, whereas the Spotlight has 13% of all of its reviews rating it as only 1 star. All of these cameras directly connect to a home, to a home's Wi-Fi. 
they can all connect to routers that run, run at a 2.4 GHz speed. The Nest camera can also connect to routers that run at a 5 GHz speed. None of these cameras need to connect to a smart hub in order to work. And none of these cameras use an Ethernet cable to connect to a Wi-Fi router. Some companies are looking at using 4G as a means of connecting outdoor smart products to the internet. These connections will require SIM cards to be housed in weatherproofed units. None of these cameras though have access to this technology yet. None of these cameras use Bluetooth. In the next section the cloud storage option for each of these cameras will be listed. In order to make this storage as secure as possible, each of these cameras uses 128-bit encryption as footage is uploaded to the cloud. This is the same level of encryption that many banks use to safeguard sensitive data. Moving on. The ring spotlight is unique in this section as it comes in three different models each of which are powered differently, either by battery, AC power or solar. In terms of battery, the ring spotlight and the stick-up cam are the two cameras that are battery powered. The spotlight uses a quick release battery pack to make it easier to recharge and the stick-up cam has a 5200 mAh rated battery. The floodlight and nest are not powered by battery. For AC power, the floodlight needs to be hardwired into a junction box. The Spotlight's AC powered model comes with a 20 foot long cable with an indoor plug. And the Stick Up Cam comes with a USB charging cable. Although the Stick Up Cam will run off battery, you can choose to power it using the mains cable that also has an indoor plug. The Nest Outdoor can, can only be powered by a power cable. It has no battery, but it does have a very long cable, which is 25 foot. The Spotlight solar model uses a solar panel to charge its internal battery, and the solar panel comes with the box. It's not an additional purchase. The stick-up cam can be connected to a, to a ring solar panel, and the solar panel needs to be purchased separately. The floodlight and the Nest camera cannot be powered by a solar panel. All three ring cameras have the same three cloud storage options. They are based on the number of cameras that you have. The first option is a free 30 day trial. The second option is it's $30 per year for unlimited storage per camera. And the third option is $100 a year for unlimited storage with unlimited cameras. The Nest Outdoor plans are time-based and they're not camera-based. It has two paid storage plans. The 10-day the, the plan will store all of your recordings for 10 days and it will cost you $10 per month or $100 per year. Or there is a 30-day plan which will keep all of your recordings safe for 30 days and will, rec and will cost you $30 per month or $300 per year. None of the cameras in my comparison have the option to store footage on a micro SD card. None of the cameras in my comparison have the option to store footage on a USB device. I could only find specific details about the lens in the Nest camera. It uses a third of an inch 3 megapixel lens. The floodlight and the spotlight have the widest field of view at 140 degrees. They are closely followed by the Nest camera with 130 degrees. And in last place is the stick up cam which only has a field of view of 80 degrees. Three of the cameras in this selection record footage at 1080p. They are the Floodlight, Spotlight and the Nest camera. The Stick Up cam only records footage at 720p. All of these cameras have two-way audio. 
This means that they have a microphone and speaker built in. This allows a user to remotely connect to the camera and not only to see and hear what is happening, but also have a conversation with anyone who is near the camera. Live streaming is the ability to remotely connect to the camera via an app and to watch and listen to live footage. All of the cameras in this comparison have this capability. 24-7 recording is the ability of the camera to continuously record footage. Only the Nest camera can do this. None of the Ring cameras in my comparison are capable of this. Instead, the Ring cameras only record short snippets of motion detected video. All of these cameras use passive infrared or PIR. This type of infrared detects heat from human or animal bodies. Infrared is measured in nanometers and all of these cameras use the 850 nanometer frequency. This frequency is known to give good clarity of picture in low light levels. This frequency also means that the infrared gives off that familiar reddish glow at night. The floodlight camera has two types of motion detection. Its lights are triggered by any motion within a 270 field of vision around it. And the camera with a 140 degree field of view is triggered by recognizing when a face or body comes into range. The ring spotlight and the stick up cam have, much, have a much simpler motion detection. They are triggered by the heat from a passing human or animal. The software within the ring app though allows you to, to adjust several motion detection settings and these include adjusting the overall sensitivity of the motion detection sensors, creating motion zones within the field of view that you want to specifically focus upon, to create email alerts in response to motion detection or create push notifications in response to motion detection. The Nest camera also has motion detection and the software within the Nest app allows you to adjust the same four motion detection settings that I have just described above for the ring cameras. In addition to motion detection, some smart security cameras can detect sound. In my comparison, only the Nest camera can send out sound alerts in response to detecting them. As part of this, the Nest app will allow you to adjust the overall sensitivity of the sounds, to create email alerts in response to sound detection or to create push notifications in response to sound detection. The floodlight, spotlight and stick up cam do not provide the ability to detect and alert you when there's just been sound. The floodlight and the spotlight are the only two cameras in my selection that have a built-in siren. Both of, both of them boast a 110 decibel siren that can be triggered remotely. This means that if you are watching via the app a live video feed and you happen to see an intruder, you can set off the siren to scare them away. The, ne the, stick, the stick up cam and the Nest camera do not have a siren. The, fl the floodlight and spotlight have built in lights. The floodlight has two motion sensing lights that sit above the camera unit and each one of these lights provides 1,800 lumens, which is 3,600 lumens in total. The spotlight has two small LED strips either side of the camera lens. Each strip provides 350 lumens or 700 lumens in total. These strips are not motion sensing. The ring stick up cam and the Nest camera do not have any built in lights. Each of these cameras has pan and tilt technology, although it is a bit limited. For each camera, any panning or tilting needs to be done manually in terms of physically swiveling the camera on its mount to focus it on another area. Both the Ring and the Nest also allow a software pan and tilt. This means that when you are watching any footage on the app, you can explore the picture by moving it around with your finger. The Ring and the Nest app have a pinch to zoom facility. 
the Ring app has a zoom capacity of times three, but the Nest app has a zoom cap capability of times eight. Not surprisingly, all of the Ring devices use the same app. Both of the apps used in this comparison are easy to find because they are just named simply after the manufacturer, the Ring app and the Nest app. The Ring cameras need an iPhone or iPad to be running iOS 9 or later in order for the app to work. The app for the Nest camera also needs an iPhone or iPad to be running iOS 9 or later. The Ring app for Android needs a smartphone or tablet to be running version 4.1 or later, but it's not so simple for the Nest app. The version of Android is device specific and will vary depending on the device that you want to run the app on. In my experience, it is very unusual for a smart device to have a Windows 10 app, but you can download and use one with your Ring cameras. The Nest camera does not have a Windows 10 app, however. Many of the top smart devices, as well as providing apps, allow users to control their devices via browsers. This is a real bonus for those of us who still use laptop and desktop computers. Unfortunately, none of these cameras allow you to manage and control them via a browser. Although security cameras are useful gadgets in their own right, they become even more appealing if they can work with other smart devices in a smart home. Because the smart home market is so large and very lucrative, there are many different systems available. In order for devices to be compatible, they need to use the same system. And so in order to get as many users as possible, cameras need to work with more than one system. IFTTT, or If This Then That, is a website and app that allows devices to respond and interact with one another automatically via applets. An applet contains a set of instructions or rules that outline the circumstances under which two or more devices respond. Only the Nest camera has official support on IFTTT, and by official I mean that there are applets that have been created by the manufacturer themselves as opposed to applets that have been created by individuals. Although Ring has an official channel, its applets are designed to be used with its video doorbells and not its cameras. It is also worth noting that if you like messing around with devices and tampering with a bit of code, then you would probably really enjoy using If This Then That. Amazon Alexa is a digital assistant that enables smart devices to respond to voice commands via interactive speakers such as the Echo. However, in order to watch the video, a screen is needed, and so none of these cameras work with the Echo or Dot. Instead, they work with the Echo Show, which has a built-in touchscreen. These are rapidly evolving into important smart hubs from which many hundreds of devices can now be controlled using your voice. Google Home is Google's equivalent to the Amazon Echo. It is an interactive speaker with built-in microphones. At this precise moment, none of these four cameras work with Google Home. Nest are planning to become Google Home compatible. However, as well as having a Google Home, you will also need a Chromecast. HomeKit is Apple's voice activated smart system. However, this system does not require an interactive speaker as it can be controlled just by having an iPhone. Unfortunately, none of these cameras are compatible with it. Historically, Wink has been one of the biggest smart home systems. However, from this selection, only the Ring Stick Up Cam will work in a Wink system. SmartThings is another very popular smart home system, but none of these cameras are compatible with it. If you have an Amazon Fire TV stick, you can use it as a means of viewing any of the Ring cameras in this comparison. However, the Nest camera does not work with the Amazon TV stick. However, the Nest camera is the only camera that will work with Apple TV. 
and at this present time all of the ring cameras are incompatible with Apple TV. Sometimes you just want simple information such as if you buy a product, what comes with it in the box. All of the cameras come with a set of instructions or a quick start guide. The floodlight and spotlight and stick up cam come with a multi-purpose tool that on one end has a flip screwdriver and on the other end has a torque wrench. The Nest camera does not come with any tools. The floodlight comes with screws, plastic wall anchors and wire nuts. The wire nuts are to help with the connection of the wire running from the floodlight to the wires that are running into your junction box. The spotlight comes with a security screw which is an anti-theft anti fitting. It also comes with mounting screws, plastic wall anchors and cable clips. The cable clips help to neatly secure the cable to an outside wall. The stick-up cam comes with mounting screws and plastic wall anchors. Finally, the Nest Cam comes with mounting screws, plastic wall anchors and cable clips. By a power cable, I mean a power adapter that includes an indoor plug. The Spotlight comes in different versions, one of which is powered by a power adapter. The Floodlight does not come with a separate power cable because it, is, it has a length of cable built in which doesn't have an indoor plug on the end of it. The stick-up cam comes with a 15 foot USB charging cable. The Nest camera has a short length of cable built into it as well as having an additional 25 foot of extension cable that has an indoor plug at the end. The floodlight does not have a built-in battery or use any other type of battery. The spotlight comes in different versions, one of which uses rechargeable batteries which are built into a quick release pack and the stick up cam and the Nest camera have a, recharge re a rechargeable battery that are built in. All four of these cameras come with mounting brackets. The spotlight and the stick up cam have spirit levels built into the brackets to ensure that they are mounted perfectly horizontally on a wall and the Nest camera has a magnetic bracket. And for our final section we're looking at design and warranty. Floodlight and spotlight cameras are available in two colours, black or white. The stick up cam is only available in black and the Nest Outdoor camera is only available in white. Only one of these cameras has an IP rating. And since all of them are meant to be used outside, I would have expected them all to have one. IP stands for Ingress Protection, and these are standard ratings that show, in simple terms, how weatherproof a device or object is. The Nest has an IP rating of 65. The first number 6 means that the device is totally dustproof. The second number 5 means that the device has very good protection against water such as light rain or light snow. For it to be protected against heavy rain or snow, this second number would also need to be a 6. It is a real surprise that the ring cameras are only rated as weather resistant with no official IP rating. But as well as IP ratings, all of these cameras have, have an operating temperature range. The ring cameras have a minimum temperature of minus 20 and a maximum temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit and the Nest has a slightly smaller range it operates between minus 4 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. It is highly recommended that for the ring floodlight you should be installed by a professional. This is because installing this camera involves connecting it to your electrical system which unless you know what you're doing can be dangerous. The other three cameras can all be installed by competent DIYers. There are very detailed, easy to, to follow written and video directions on the Ring and Nest websites. All three of the Ring cameras come with a one year warranty. But the Nest camera betters this with a two year warranty. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. In this video I have compared four smart security cameras 
the floodlight versus the spotlight versus the stick up cam versus a nest outdoor camera and i hope that my comparison helps you in your search for your next smart security camera if you have any questions please ask me if i've made a mistake please tell me or if you have any ideas for my next review please let me know